And there, was, and there was times in my life where I didn't even know I, I was bound. That you were right. bound, exactly. Right. Which oh, is, these chains? They're just, you know, accessory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> these, these chains are accessory. Wow. You know, Jesus uh-huh. said, um, be anxious for nothing. Well, that's freedom. Right. Yeah. Be anxious for nothing? Right. That's so Like, good. are you kidding me? No, no. You hear people say, well, you know, a little fear is healthy. Be anxious it's, for nothing. A little wisdom is healthy. Fear is not. <laughs> perfected love casts out fear. And perfected love is love that is obeyed. Mm. That's how you master it. That's how it's perfected when you walk in that love. Welcome back to another Winning Conversations. It's so great to connect with you again. I'm so grateful that you're a part of these each month. And um, we, we love doing this because we believe that the Word has the ability to take our lives to another level. So we want to welcome back Pastor Annette. Welcome back uh, Pastor Eric and Nikki. And uh, so grateful for them, what they do at Heritage. We're so grateful for their hearts and just yes. their hearts for the kingdom, their hearts for people. and. We also want to just tell you just happy Independence Day. I hope you had a great time with your family and friends. And uh, isn't it grateful to live in a, in a free nation? I mean, you know, aren't yeah. you grateful for yes. freedom? Yes. Amen. So I'm, grateful. I'm Thank so God. grateful for freedom. Amen. I mean, I look at where my life was before 1993, and I am grateful for freedom. You know, I, I think a lot of times we take our freedom for granted. Absolutely. Yeah. And, um, man, I, I'm just, what God has done in my life, I'm telling you, his freedom. There's nothing like his freedom. It's yeah. a good life. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, for, but isn't it interesting that before you met Christ and the way you were living before, you didn't know what freedom was until now. Now you're free, yeah. and you look back and like, how could I have ever lived yeah. that way? Yeah, and there, was, and there was times in my life where I didn't even know I, I was bound. That you were bound. <laughs> exactly. Right. Which oh, is, these chains? They're just, you know, accessory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these, these chains are accessories. Yeah. yeah. They're Which is the total opposite of what Satan yeah. tries to get people to think. Exactly. Right. You know, that the Bible is just a book of rules. And, it's, and it binds you, you know, and it's, it's actually freedom. Oh, it my goodness, freedom. that's so true. Total like, opposite. People think the Bible is what limits you, mm-hmm. and without mm-hmm. it, you're so limited. Yeah. So limited. Oh, so my limited. goodness, we're so free now. Yeah. And, but you don't understand your freedom if, until you're out of that bondage. Until you it, experience yeah. it. Until I mean, I think that's what I love it. about heritage. It's one of the first things yeah. we want people to experience yeah. God. Yes. Because yes. in God is love and light and liberty, liberty. Yeah. all those things and amen. it's just a good life amen yeah. freedom amen. yeah the freedom yeah you know we live what they say is we live in a free nation but i'm telling you it's nothing like having and being a part of a free kingdom that's it i mean there's healing in this kingdom that's yeah. it there's prosperity in this kingdom mm. there's life in this kingdom there's peace there's peace there's in this kingdom in this there's kingdom. joy in this kingdom yeah and yeah. that's that's the father's heart for us yeah. and how we tap in to the freedom is through our faith in god right yeah. and through the love of god that's it you know hebrews 11 faith is the substance of things hoped for and i i was meditating on that um even in you know before last month's um first fridays and and think about faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. So if faith is the things hoped for, what is the what is the what is the substance to faith? The substance of faith is the word of God and it's the love of God. Amen. Those things are what the, the word of God is what builds my faith, but the love of God is energizes my faith. Amen. And that those two things carry us in to life, a life of freedom. And he wants that free. He wants that freedom for every single one, every of, us. one of us. He wants that freedom. The anointing is present right where you are when you call out his name. I, yeah, I, I remember yeah. being in, you know, before I was even born again, and and when he said, "Tell me you love me," I, I wasn't a I, I wasn't a man of faith at the time, but uh, or a man of the word, I should say. But when I cried out, his freedom showed up. The love of God yeah. showed up in that living room at my sister's house while I was laying there with a sickness in my body. 
And when I cried out, the love of God met me and the love of God brought freedom. It's so good. Oh, you know, it just, it. the Bible says it's, it's the truth that will set you free. Right. And part of that truth is, is, is understanding the love of God. Yeah. Like in that moment, you know, most people, if they're sick and like barely able to breathe right. and it's been going on and on, you know, the tendency is to question God's yeah. love. But in that moment, he said, tell me you love me. Right. Mm -hmm. It's to do the exact opposite. T tell him you love him. Amen. Yeah. And he did. You did. Mm -hmm. And then you were healed. Yeah. Amen. Oh, it's, so and, and it's really like I was getting involved in his love for me. Yeah. I was getting involved in his love for me yeah. because he, he was tired of me being bound. He was tired of me being hopeless. He was tired of that, but yet he needed me to agree with him. That's it. Right. He needed me to agree with it. So by when I started saying, I love you, I love you, I was, that was my faith. First, I cried out to God. Right. That was my faith being released Correct. in him. But when he said, do that, that was my obedience. And then I was coming to agreement with the kingdom. Hallelujah. I was coming into agreement with the kingdom. Would you oh, say so good. that... When someone feels secure, that that's freedom. They're secure. And the scripture says, may Christ through your faith actually dwell. This is uh, Ephesians 3, it's verse 17. Actually dwell, mm -hmm. settle down, abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. Yeah. May you be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love. Right. That's freedom. Yeah. And it goes on to say that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints, yeah. God's devoted people, the experience of that love. You had an experience yeah. Yeah. of the love of God. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and everybody that comes to Christ has had that experience. They can tell BC before Christ, yeah. Yeah. you know, what they were. And it's, I, I like to hear your story. It's funny because, you know, a lot of people don't know that you jack cars. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's and this other stuff, but then and and there you were doing this stuff and not living a life that uh maybe even you knew better, were raised to live, but th right there, yeah. you're you're on the floor mm -hmm. experiencing some sickness, yeah. not living the life God had called you to live, and yet you experience the love of God. Yeah. Oh, and yet love still gives you a way out. Yeah. Amen. That's when his you're not mercy. perfect. Yes. Yeah. Oh. His mercy. Yeah, you know, right. for someone to say that you have to be good enough or you have to present yourself or come to church in a certain way to experience freedom is not that I mean that that's not the case. The case is is just your faith in him and saying, God, I call upon you, I trust in you, and it's the that love of God shows up. Mm -hmm. The love of God just shows up in the midst of wherever you are, and it's the love that brings that freedom. And the greater you experience his love, the greater your faith becomes. I mean, he just asked just just step towards him, just a wiggle, you know, like that man in the pool of Bethesda that was there for 30-something years. And it's like, if why couldn't he have just wiggled a little bit closer, you know, <laughs> towards the pool when it started yeah, to stir? drop in. Just a little yeah. bit. For the, that many years, you could have wiggled yourself yeah. over. But he just he just needed you to call on him. Um, and, you know, whenever I came to Heritage, I came very broken. But I came. That was my faith. Right. It was like, I'm just going to come. And I'm hearing all these messages and hearing about dreaming. And, and you know, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I could all my faith was just getting here yeah. to here. <laughs> That's it. But he met me right there, just like he met you right there. Yeah. You know, it's it's if that's your faith, then he'll meet you right there. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You know, I, but going back to that being rooted in love and founded securely on love. Yeah. No one yeah. wants to be in a relationship yeah. where they don't feel secure. Yeah. Like does this does this person love me? Like you got to yeah. ask so you love me, right? I mean, <laughs> uh, I was worried. Like, it's funny because when Drew uh, was coming down to Texas to go to Bible school, we had his we had his uh, moving van all loaded in the driveway, and Nikki was still in the kitchen. Drew was sitting in his car ready to come down, and I walked in the kitchen. I just broke down, and I was like, <laughs> "She's like, why are you crying for?" 
And uh, I was like, you know, he's going to college and all this. And, and she grabbed me by the shoulder. She says, look at me, look at me. Our lives are going to be great. Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, that that was the love in her saying, we're, you know, we're secure. We're, we're, we're in this together. And, yeah. you know, then, then you can make that trip. And, and um, when people don't know how much God loves them and they're not secure That's in the love of God, then it it causes them to waver in their faith. That's yeah. it, to doubt. Yeah, yeah, to doubt. Yeah. When he asks you to do something, because he's going to ask you to do hard things, but you have to be secure. <laughs> he is? Yeah. You have to be secure in his love for you, that yeah. he's not going to let you fail. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Yeah. He's not. He's got you. You know, yeah. a lot of people don't want outside of what they have because they're more comfortable where they are than with change, yeah. you know? But when God calls you out... You know, like you, so, sometimes the hardest thing to do is like respond in a church service, yeah. you know, to go forward, to get prayer, to come to God in the first place, Right. Yeah. you know, and sometimes it takes you getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your seat, yeah. you know, in front of everyone, yeah. you know, and experience because a greater freedom when you do. Yes. That's what I'm saying yeah. is he always has something so good for you. It's worth yeah. it. it. It's is. so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Freedom. You know, just that scripture reading about securely on love, if you keep reading, and I'm not sure what um, version you're reading, but it says, it goes on and says that you would know the love of Christ yeah. mm -hmm. that passes knowledge, yeah. that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Gosh. Yeah, right. So, so we're going to be limited if we don't know the love of God. Yeah. yeah. But when I know the love of God, the lengths, the depths, and the heights of it, I'm going to be filled with all the fullness of God. So there's another level. Uh, yeah, there's, 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 a, there's always yeah. another level. And then there's the overflow. Right? And then there's the overflow. <laughs> so here we are back at, and I know we talked about this last month, but here we are back at pursue love. Yeah. Because in when you can be filled with the fullness of God. If, if you want to operate in the gifts, if you want to see people healed, you want to see signs, wonders, and marvels, and miracles, and the extraordinary goodness of God, mm -hmm. pursue love. That's it. You know, yeah. because with love comes all the fullness That's of it. God. Because it goes on to say, yeah. become a body holy filled and flooded, flooded. with Ooh, god himself. himself oh hallelujah like yeah. you just stop and yeah. think about that for a minute as a human mm -hmm. why would the creator of the universe even care about you know yeah but he does. Yeah. does and he not only cares about you and wants you to experience a good life but he wants to feel fill your life <laughs> flooded. Flooded. Flooded, flooded with <laughs> with himself <laughs> with himself wow. you know jesus oh. said um be anxious for nothing well, that's freedom. Right. Yeah. Be anxious for nothing. Right. That's so Like, good. are you kidding me? No, no. Here people say, well, you know, a little fear is healthy. Be anxious it's, for nothing. No, a little wisdom is healthy. Fear is not healthy. <laughs> Be anxious. There's no fear that's in good. love. That's good. That's for it. nothing. That's what it says is that perfect love casts out fear. That's right. Yeah. And that's the, that's the thing to, you know, with our faith. Yeah. That, that's why our faith works by love. It, and, and what we're talking about, about being rooted in the love and, and growing in the love mm -hmm. and experience the love of God and the fullness of God is our faith in God and his love. Yeah. Amen. And having faith in his love. Yeah. Faith in his love. It, it's what it's what will take us over. It, it's the love of God that's going to get us through. Yeah. But do you know how God shows us how much he loves us is, well, that scripture says perfect love casts out fear. But another translation says perfected love casts out fear. And perfected love is love that is obeyed. Mm -hmm. That's how you master it. That's how it's perfected when you walk in that love. When you walk in that love, you see the power of God. You see what God can do in someone else's life. It Then God's working in your life. And it casts out fear because you're, I mean, you know what God can do for you. But when you let God work through you to, to touch someone else, yeah. you see the power of that. That's mm -hmm. perfect love. That it casts out fear. Yeah. You know? yeah. and, and so you're not fearful to, to continue to obey, continue to do those hard things. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, works of obedience. Works of obedience. Shows so our good. faith. Yeah. You know, Amen. when you were talking about that scripture, because then it goes on and says that we have the fullness of God, but then it says that he is exceedingly, abundantly, <laughs> above all. We could ask, think, dream, or imagine according to the power that works within us. Yeah. So that power that works in within us is love. Yeah. 
So, so it's like we're to know the love of God so we can be filled with all his fullness because it's in that it, he's exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think, dream, or imagine Amen. according to that power that's within. It's according to the power. It's yeah. according so it's to. according to the power. Right. So if we can grow from faith to faith and glory to glory, yeah. we also have to understand that we're going to have to grow from love to love. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to continuing to meditate on the love of God, med- meditate on his nature, meditate on his character, meditate on who he is. And that's how we grow from faith to faith and glory to glory. Yeah. Uh, in in uh, 2 Corinthians three eighteen, in that scripture that says that we go from glory to glory, it, it all it's all based on what? It's based on beholding him. Mm-hmm. As you behold him, as you behold Jesus, right. as we behold the love of God, as we behold him, that it was then we're transferred from glory to glory. Oh, but we had to continually behold him. We behold him by beholding I mean, his word. That's it. Right. Yeah. Beholding and meditating on his nature and his character. Yeah. When we moved down here, we didn't really know what we were here for. We had a meeting with Dr. Savell, and, and he says, uh, what are you guys here for? And I said, um, we were hoping you would tell us, <laughs> you know, and Nikki shared that. But uh, I never imagined what I would be doing, like that I would be going all over the world and, you know, when you get up in the air and you're with the man of God and it's like, it's like the solitude, it's like, it's like being with God, being close to God, not, not, not in a physical sense. I'm just talking about the closeness. It's yeah. quiet and it's, it's, you can see for miles. It looks like you're not, ne- you're not even moving. And, and God did exceedingly abundantly above all that Eric asked or could dream of, Amen. you know, and that's, that was the, that was his love working in me. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, Lord, why, why me? I don't, I don't know. I, you know, who am I? It's the, it's the love of God. And, yeah. and that's for every Aww. person, you know, God's got something yeah. for you and you can't compare what God's got for you with, with what God has for someone else because He's a loving God, and he's personal to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he wants to do it seemingly above yeah. all that you ask or think. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I love it. And just, Amen. just meditating on that thought, the love of God will bring me through. You know, whatever you're facing today, I want you to know the love of God will bring you through. Yeah. The love of God will bring you through. Amen. We're more than conquerors because of the love of God. We can do all things through Christ who strengthened us because of the love of God. That's it. You know, when you were talking about being anxious for nothing, mm-hmm. right after that, what does Paul refer to? He goes, he goes, if there be any virtue, if there mm-hmm. be any praise, think on these, these things. things right. He talks about all these different things there in, in Philippians four, and he and he and he says, think on these things. So don't think on the 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 pressure. Don't think on the things that are causing the anxiety or the anxiousness. Because Paul said, don't be anxious for anything, but in everything, mm-hmm. but in everything, with prayer and supplication, make your request made known to love. Mm-hmm. Make your re- with thanksgiving, make yeah. your request known unto God. And then it, then it goes on and says, you know, think on these things, and tells us what to think about. So we're to think on him. We're to think on his, the good report. We're to think on the vir- his virtue. We're to think on things that are praiseworthy and trustworthy. So, so whatever we might be going through, the thing is we need to be focused on love, focused on the eternal things, not the temporary things that we're going through right yeah. now. And those are the things that are going to carry us over. That's how what faith looks like when you're going through a storm. You're realizing, okay, the love's going to bring me through this. Remember mm-hmm. that storm? You talk about you went through and, and about singing Shout to the Lord yeah, <laughs> until yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, and I, you, just along those lines, like you can get a worship song out, mm-hmm. you know, and deliverance can come in a moment. Yeah. You know, when you begin to sing mm-hmm. faith-filled mm-hmm. words that come from the Word, you know, and the same is true when you pray. You know, once you get your mind on God mm-hmm. and you start talking to this God of miracles mm-hmm. and your mind recalls things in Thanking the Bible that him. God has Ooh, done, come on. all of a sudden That's faith sanctum. just arises yeah. in your heart Thank because you, you know who this God is, yeah. Yeah. This, this loving God who gave his son, yeah. you know, and that faith arises in you and that, you know, overcomes the world, yeah. you know, is when you get to that place. So, you know, I remember just singing 
you know, my Jesus, you know, he's my mm. Jesus, my comfort, you know, and nothing compares to personal. the promise I have in you. And when you sing those yeah. in faith, like the words come alive to you, yeah. like they're yours, like nothing compares to the promise I have in you. And that gets deposited in you as you mm. say it, yeah. then what can shake you? That's good. You know, you can go forward in rest, in faith, in victory, because you know it is right around the corner, you know, mm. because you know how good your God is. And there's no yeah. way love is going to leave you there. Yeah. You know? Wow. Ooh, so, yeah. That's so good. So good. That's why in Psalm 78, they, they at the beginning, they told their children, they wanted to share the, the things that God had done for them. They yeah. remembered. Always. Right? Yeah. So that because the testimony, if God did it once, he'll do it again. Yeah. But, but it wasn't just that he would do it again, but in a greater measure. And oh, every nice. time they would share what God had did, it's, it's that he did it, things in a greater measure. And it would, it would be like this upward progression, right? you know, of what God was doing in our life. And then it went on to say they forgot his works. <laughs> and so, you know, each of us have a testimony. You have a testimony. Mm -hmm. you're, you're watching here. You have a testimony to share. When you share that testimony, you're sharing the goodness of God, the love of God, what God did in your life so that, if, if it worked for you, it'll work for someone else Amen. that, you know, maybe they're down and out, but, but you have a testimony mm -hmm. and, yes. and you've shared your testimony. You've shared your testimony. And those are things that build up the body of Christ. How do we Amen. overcome? Mm -hmm. By the blood of the lamb mm -hmm. and the, the word, word of our, our testimony. testimony. Yeah. They were, they were told yeah. to build monuments, to build memorials yeah. and that, and to, to share with their, their children, that their children would share with their children what God had done so yeah. that whenever they walked that way, they would see that memorial and remember mm -hmm. and remember like you said god did it then and he'll do it again yeah. and even yeah. a greater measure but so that's those why are we celebrate yeah. every holiday yeah. like fourth of july right it's to commemorate and to celebrate yeah that's it our independence yeah that we are independent you know what i mean we we're got free. independent we're free we were set free that day yeah. yeah and there's so many times as christians we need to do that yeah. we need to recall that we are free because of what jesus did amen yeah. and call on that yeah. and and say it with our words, yeah. you know, the testimony of our mouth mm -hmm. so that we can overcome. And what Amen. happens is, according to the scripture, it says, stir up love and good works. <laughs> yeah. We, and we do that in each other. We're doing it right Hebrews now. Yeah. People that are watching, That's you're it. getting stirred up right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know love you're marching and... around your living room telling us what God's <laughs> yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. I'm free. <laughs> freedom. freedom. <laughs> they may take our lives, <laughs> but they'll never take our freedom. <laughs> and, 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 that's, and that's how we have to live. And anytime we, we are doubting that or we're, we're frustrated with the season we're walking in, mm -hmm. we have to go back and remember those things yes. and realize it the fact of you know the lengths and the depths and the heights of that love. Amen. And know the love of Christ that passes knowledge. Yeah. That we can be filled with his fullness. I, I was mm -hmm. thinking about love and and I was thinking about Jesus and when he walked the earth. And because there's the love that we receive that brings freedom, but then there's also the love that we're to give that yeah. brings freedom. So and I was thinking about uh, in Luke 22 when it says uh, about Peter and he Jesus says of Peter, he goes, you know, Satan's desire to have you mm -hmm. that he right. might sift you like wheat. But he said, I prayed for you. Yeah that your faith wouldn't fail. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, and I was going to Romans, back to Romans 8, and I want to read this. It says, What then shall we say of these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? <laughs> it is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? Mm. It is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us? Right. So know that love is still interceding for us. Yeah. Yeah. Love is still interceding for us. Then it says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? I love how it connects the fact that he's interceding for us. And then it goes right into, it says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? So Christ interceding for us, even right now, yeah. is his love for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As is written, for your sake we are killed all the day. We're counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we're more than conquerors through him who loved us. Who loved us. 
For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing Mm -hmm. shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. I want you to know he's interceding for you right now. The love of God is always available. And I believe the love of God is working right now, whether you're in your car, whether you're at home, whether you're laying in bed watching on your phone right now. I believe the love of God is there, and the love of God is quickening your heart. Just like when I was healed in January of 1993, a presence like I'd never known came in. And I believe what it was was the tangible love of God. And I speak that the tangible love of God right now is ministering over you and is bringing freedom just in the way that you need it right now in Jesus' name. I also want to encourage you, love somebody today. Be the extension. Be the one that prays just like Jesus prayed for Peter, Mm. praying that their faith not fail. How will our faith not fail? It's when we know that we've been founded upon the love of God. Amen. 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 That's great. So good. Uh-huh. High five. Love you guys. Don't <laughs> 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 lift me out there, baby. Oh, we sorry. <laughs> um, well, we want to thank you for joining us today. And Pat, on behalf of Pastor Justin and Annette and, and Nikki and I, we want to tell you how much we love you and thank you for tuning yes, in do. today. We call you winners yes, ma'am. in life. We say you're overcoming. Yes, yes, you are. That you you have whatever it takes because you've got Jesus on the inside of you Hallelujah. to win in this life. Yes. And we want to encourage you today to be that overcomer, to stand in your place yes. that God has given you in, in the earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because every vision says in Ezekiel 12, I feel this pretty strong, it says Ezekiel 12 that no longer will the vision be prolonged. Mm-hmm. But every vision must be fulfilled. That's it. That's it. And God's put that on the inside of you. You're not crazy. You know, there are times where I thought I was crazy. You know, you th- because you, you dream big dreams. Those aren't your thoughts. That's God putting that on, yes. birthing that on the yeah. inside Amen. of you. Yeah. Amen. So for you to carry out because he has a plan for you. Amen. And I say that you will fulfill Amen. the yes. plan that God has for you. Yes, no you more will. fear. Stand in the love of God. Stand yes. secure in the love of That's God. It. We call you blessed. Amen. And go Go give give them Jesus. Jesus.